the sum of twice the number and 5 less than the number is the same as the difference between negative 17 and the number. Now let the number be x. Look at the first part of this. Twice the number. That would be 2x, wouldn't it? 2 times x. The sum of twice the number and we've got to add something here because we have a sum. 5 less than the number. So start off with the number. 5 less than that. Okay. Then we say is the same as, let's say equals, the difference between negative 17 and the number. The difference between negative 17 subtract for a difference the number. Okay. So uh, we had 2x and 1x. We want to know what is the number. 2x and 1x makes what? We don't have to have the parentheses, in other words. Just 2x plus 1x. Copy the rest of it down. What is 2x and 1x? That would be 3x, wouldn't it? Copy the other things down. Let's move it up to the top of the page and keep going. Now this minus x is really minus 1x, isn't it? Okay. Now, we have x on both sides. When you have x on both sides, we get rid of the smaller of the two x's. Which is smaller, negative 1 or 3? Well, since negative 1 is negative, that's the smaller of the two. I'm going to get rid of the negative 1 because this is the smallest of the x terms. So to get rid of negative 1, I will add a, a positive 1, the opposite of that, add a positive 1 here and line it up with this one too. All right? So now I got 3x and 1x makes what? 3 plus 1. Bring this down, bring this down, and bring this down. Now what number is next to the x? I know 4 is next to the x, but that's the coefficient of the variable. We get rid of that last. Other than the 4, don't say 4 now. Other than the 4, what number is right next to the x? The minus 5. So we're going to get rid of that with its opposite. Put a positive 5 here and over here. Bring down the 4x. That equals negative 17 and positive 5. I owe $17. I pay back 5 of it. I still owe some money, but I don't owe 17 because 5 of it went away. I paid off 5 of it. I still owe $12. Now we say, what is the variable? x. What is the coefficient of the variable? 4, that's what you divide by. You divide by the 4, not 4x. The variable is x. You want the coefficient, which is 4. We're going to divide both sides of this equation by 4. We're going to get x on the left equals, and you get minus 3.